What's happening, Hobbits? So today I'm going to be talking about, yep, you guessed it, film school. Uh, you read the title, so you probably know what's what you're expecting. But yeah, let's get into it. Is it worth it? I'll let you know right now. Stay tuned. Okay, so I went to film school for, I want to say about like three to four years. I graduated with a certificate program. <clears throat> it was at a community college at, uh, I don't really want to give the name out because it gives my location out, but you guys probably already know what's good. Anyway, um, in my opinion, I recommend that if you're really dedicated, go to a four-year like university and go towards that bachelor program because the certificate program it only got me so far and I must say like it did get me a few jobs in video editing which I had a blast doing I was a video editor for Halloween every night I was a video editor for Zoo Shine it was like a cannabis I'm not really proud of that one because like not everyone is on the same page on whether cannabis is good for you or not well I mean it's in my opinion like it doesn't matter like it was a job right okay <clears throat> and then another video editing company I worked for was my own like photography business and my own video editing business which is called mythified matter that was a fun experience that was like my portfolio to get me through college and to apply towards different video editing jobs and stuff but it only got me so far the one the the cannabis one it was actually based in LA and it was quite fun it was a good paying job too like it was like 25 bucks per hour and I had to drive to LA traffic was a pain in the butt but it's okay because it was well worth it the money was great but they laid me off because they didn't have enough videos to edit which that's the thing everyone with like a phone nowadays like a high-tech phone they are technically videographers and vi yeah video directors because the quality that's on a phone is so good like honestly I'm not gonna lie this thing is great but a phone camera like is so much better especially for video um, <clears throat> this one is actually a photography camera which kind of sucks because it doesn't have an input for um, like a microphone which that's why I have to use this this thing's called a zoom h4n it's a audio recorder so you turn it on you press record and you put it like off camera and then you have to in video editing you have to sync the footage to the sound um, the sound uh, specs and stuff Whoa that's gonna fall off but that's okay whatever so yeah I recommend that um, you definitely go to a four-year and graduate with a like full degree because right now I'm like even planning on changing my career path because this is not getting me anywhere especially in 2021 2021 2020 like COVID hit so it took a, like a huge hit on the film industry which totally sucked so I'm just speaking like as of right now like it's a horrible industry to get into but because it's so oversaturated and don't get me wrong like this is just my opinion so I love I loved going to school like I must say it was a great experience was it worth it kind of not really it's good to have that knowledge of like video editing and stuff like using Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe um, After Effects and stuff like that and Photoshop it's good to have that skill set but it doesn't really get you too far I mean it gets you kind of far but not as far as I was hoping like I was hoping to be in the industry and full on like fully commit and like get paid jobs and it's hard though you have to like continuously do your searches and even when you have a job of video editing or whether it be photography or oh crap that's scary um be a video videographer um you have to still continue to look for a different job because that job is not going to stay like it's, they're not the film is either going to be made or they're going to let people go because they let people go like crazy like 
if you do one thing wrong, like you're out. Um, that's what I've heard. I heard like people get blacklisted all the time in the film industry because God knows what reason. Um, but yeah, so I mean, like I recommend it, but not if you're just trying to do it as like a hobby. If you're trying to do it as a hobby, like learn on YouTube, learn on different websites and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was a great experience. I did like it, but it's not for everyone. You know, I'm actually considering going back to school for welding because I know that's like a, a prime career that like people are always looking for welders and they're like, that's a solid, solid trade school. You know, like you go learn the craft and you pretty much instantly have a job once you dedicate yourself. I mean, that's technically with anything, but yeah, I mean, film school was fun. Don't get me wrong. Like, you meet new people, and it's all about... That's what it's all about. It's all about, like, networking, and you have to, like, create your LinkedIn account, create your portfolio, you know, and you have to network like a mofo. Like, you have to, like, meet your connections, and you have to talk with them, and go to meetings, and do all that. Um, so, yeah, it's fun, but in my opinion, like, do what makes you happy. You know, that's what really matters, because in the end... Your life is based on your happiness, you know, like whatever you want in your life, that's what it consists of. So yeah, I hope this was some good advice. If not, let me know in the comments, but yeah, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, you know, do all that or don't, I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, have a great day and thank you for watching. Stay tuned if you want to see a little bit of the uh, the previous work things that I've done, the bit previous work video edits that I've done. Um, but yeah, they're fun to edit, and let me know what you think.